A cryptocurrency wallet that has become fairly popular recently is a wallet known as SafePal. Now SafePal has become very popular because of how versatile, how simple it is to use. At the same time, you can have multiple different cryptocurrencies cross networks managed under one wallet. Not only that, you're able to actually have it as a cold storage wallet, meaning it's unplugged off the internet 100%, but at the same time, you can actually manage a hardware wallet for pure, pure safetyness. So today, I'm gonna to give you a quick walkthrough of how to use SafePal, how to set it up, how to swap, and how to exchange different cryptocurrencies right here on this video. All right, guys, welcome back to Passive Income Group. My name is Tuan Nguyen. Here, we're gonna show you exactly how to generate passive income right here in the digital space. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification because we're gonna make sure that we're gonna drop some major nuggets throughout this entire channel. Now, let's go and get right into it. And today, we're gonna give you a quick walkthrough on how to set up SafePal. Whether you have Apple, iOS, or you actually have Android, you wanna make sure that you go to your Play or your App Store and search SafePal. When you search SafePal, you're gonna go ahead and actually see SafePal Wallet. You're gonna see the SFP. Make sure you go ahead and click download and make sure that you download the application. Once you're done, so go ahead and click open or go ahead and launch it. Once you're done doing so, you're gonna go and see the first page. You're gonna see software wallet or hardware wallet. We're gonna get right into actually setting up a brand new wallet for yourself. So go ahead and actually click on software wallet. After you're done, so it's immediately gonna say, hi, welcome to SafePal, click next. At this time, you're gonna go ahead and actually put in your password. So go ahead and make sure you put a nice secure password for yourself and make sure you confirm it. Once you're done, make sure you click on the blue checkbox right there. I've read and accepted the terms of use and click submit. Right here, you're gonna go ahead and create a pattern. Now you wanna make sure it's unique. You wanna make sure you write it down because if you forget this one, this is gonna give you a hard time. So go ahead and actually confirm a pattern a squiggly line or uh, up and down or whatever the case is, but make sure it's secure to you only. Once you're done, it will ask you twice to confirm and you are all set in terms of confirming your pattern. Now you're all set, you're gonna get this congratulations, you're now ready to start SafePal journey. And once you're done, go ahead and start SafePal journey by clicking the button below. Now on this page, you're gonna be prompt to ask of one of two choices. Number one, you can either create a wallet or B, you can import a wallet. Now, if you already have a wallet, whether it's through MetaMask or through Trust Wallet, you can actually import your wallet through via mnemonic phrase or through your private keys. Uh, we're gonna go and show you that in a little bit. But in this case, I'm assuming that most of you have never created a wallet before. So go and click create a wallet. Now, once you're done doing so, earlier you were asked to create a security password. Go ahead and actually write this down so you can confirm your actions. In here on this page, you're gonna go ahead and actually put down your wallet name. This is more like a checking account through a bank account or whatnot. It's just a way to help you identify what wallet it is. So go ahead and actually name your wallet. Now a new wallet has been created. Now here's what's really important. Before you start to use, make sure you back up your phrase. Every wallet that you create that's brand new always creates a new backup or a seed phrase, also known as a mnemonic phrase. This is, a con this is comprised of 12 words where it, just in case that you lose your wallet of any way or your phone, you can always import your wallet again by these 12 words. So go ahead and click backup phrase and make sure you prepare to write it down on a piece of paper. So here it is, it's giving you a quick warning of making sure not to lose your phrase, make sure to back it up, don't just take a picture of it, and make sure that just in case if the app is deleted, you'll lose all your data unless you have your 12 words. So go ahead and click on understood. And here it is, this is your 12 words. Go ahead and write it down, make sure you double check it, and then when you're done, click next. All right, now that you're all set, you are ready to use your wallet. Go ahead and click start to use. So here is your home page. This is a test account, so it's gonna give you a quick idea of what it looks like, and I'm just gonna give you a quick walkthrough throughout this entire wallet. So the first thing you can do is you can go ahead and actually receive cryptocurrency. We're gonna use BNB as an example. 
So let's say you have BNB somewhere else, but whether it's actually sitting in another wallet, maybe you purchase somewhere else, and you wanna go ahead and actually send it over here. You can click on receive, and you can actually get the address below by simply copying it and pasting it where you have BNP located somewhere else. Now going back, if you're looking to send cryptocurrency, you can press the blue button. Once you click the blue button where it says to, this is where you paste the receiving address. Uh, right underneath that, you can go and put the amount that you wanna send out. And then of course, if there's a memo or a note that you wanna put down, you can go ahead and do so. Press next, quite simple. You'll also notice that there's an address book where you can actually store and save addresses so you don't have to fumble all the time when you need to send it to certain people that, that you usually send to. Now going back to the home page, you can always add, like I said earlier, various different cryptocurrencies that are not listed on here by clicking the word add. What's also very important is your security. I can't stress the importance of why security is so important to set up. All right, let's talk about swapping for a second. To swap, you can click on the arrows that's pointing away from each other below. It's very easy to swap. To swap, you simply go and click on the cryptocurrency that you have that you're looking to swap. So in this case, we're gonna go and use BNB, uh, BNB also known as Binance Coin, and we're gonna go ahead and actually attempt to swap it to BNB Smart Chain, which is BEP20. In this example, I have already actually picked out the cryptocurrency that I wanna swap, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the amount that I wanna go ahead and swap. Once I go ahead and actually punch down the amount I wanna swap, for example, where it says 0, .0 .0, uh, let's say I wanna swap one, which let's say I've already have one available in the wallet, then I can go ahead and swap that one uh, Binance coin for a smart chain below. It's one to one. Once I've actually done with everything, I'm gonna go and click next, and that pretty much confirms the transaction. Another great feature about SafePal is that you can open up multiple different wallets. So on the top left, you can go and click on that sign and you're gonna see a plus sign once you click on that. That's gonna allow you to go and prompt you to open up several different wallets of your choice. Once you click on that, you have the option to go and open up a hardware wallet or a software wallet. I'm gonna go and click on software wallet. Once you're done doing that, you have a choice again, just like I shared with you earlier, by simply either uh, importing a wallet or creating a new wallet. Now, for those of you, like I said earlier, that actually have MetaMask Trust Wallet, you have the ability to import those wallets via mnemonic phrase, those 12 words, or through importing through a private key or so, and that's gonna allow you to basically bring all those assets that you have from another wallet into SafePal. So in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and actually move forth to show you what it looks. It's gonna go and prompt you to enter your security password that you've created. So what, go ahead and do that. Once you're done doing that, now you're gonna go ahead and enter your seed phrase or your mnemonic phrase. Once you enter that, you can go and name that original wallet that you have, press done and move next. Let's go and go through one last thing, which is using the DAP or the browser function. You can find that right there in the middle. Go ahead and actually click on that. Once you click on that, it's gonna prompt you to actually see a browser. Now on the top, you're gonna see the word search, dap, or enter a link. Go ahead and actually enter the link of whatever project or protocol, whether it's a smart contract or it is a decentralized exchange you're trying to visit, such as PancakeSwap. You can, you can type in that website right there or paste that website right there and press done and it's gonna go ahead and take you to that website. Based on my experience of using SafePal, I can tell you right now that I find it very useful. In many cases, sometimes people have to toggle between Trust Wallet and MetaMask. SafePal allows you to be able to do everything all in one. You can exchange different cryptocurrency, you can swap, you can even use a hardware wallet as well as a software wallet. The security is extremely very high, it's very easy to use, you can send and receive different cryptocurrencies. I can tell you right now that this is definitely a wallet that you want to use. Hopefully this video helps, guys. My name is Tuan. If you haven't done so, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, ring that bell, and make sure that you tune in because every single week we're going to go and upload another video that's going to help you generate passive income in the digital space. Thank you so much. See you guys.